Welcome students. In this presentation, we will explore how to distinguish primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols using the Lucas test. This test is a simple yet essential tool in organic chemistry. I am Aditya Vardhan from adichemistry.com Warangal and I encourage you to ask any questions in the comments section. Without wasting time, let us dive into the details of Lucas test. It involves using Lucas reagent, a mixture of anhydrous zinc chloride and HCl to differentiate primary, secondary and tertiary alcohol types. When this reagent is added, the alcohols transform into corresponding alkyl chlorides. We distinguish between these alcohols by observing the different rates of alkyl chloride formation. For example, tertiary alcohols quickly form chlorides, while secondary alcohols take 2 to 3 minutes. And in the case of primary alcohols, formation of the alkyl chloride requires heating. And keep in mind that in primary alcohols, the alcoholic group is attached to the primary carbon, which in turn is linked to only one carbon. In secondary alcohols, the alcoholic group attached to a secondary carbon, which is connected to two carbon atoms only. And in the case of tertiary alcohols, there is a tertiary carbon that is connected to three other carbons. Here is how you perform the test. Place primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols in separate test tubes. Now add Lucas reagent to each test tube. In the case of tertiary alcohols, the solution becomes turbid or cloudy immediately as shown on the screen. Keep in mind that since the alkyl chlorides are immiscible liquids with alcohols, we observe this turbidity or cloudiness. In the case of secondary alcohols, the solution turns turbid after 2 to 3 minutes. Whereas, in the case of primary alcohols, there is no change at room temperature. The reaction mixture turns cloudy only after heating the reaction mixture. Now let us discuss the underlying principle. When alcohols react with Lucas reagent, they undergo nucleophilic substitution, replacing the OH group with a chloride ion. This reaction involves two key steps. The first step involves the departure of OH group to form a carbocation. And this step is the rate determining step. The carbocation then combines with a chloride ion to form an alkyl chloride. The rate of reaction depends on the rate of formation of carbocation, which in turn depends on the stability of carbocation. Since the stability of carbocation decreases from tertiary to secondary to primary, the rate of the reaction also reflects the same order. That is why tertiary alcohols react faster followed by secondary alcohols and followed by primary alcohols. In case of primary alcohols, the formation of carbocation is very slow so that uh, we have to heat the reaction mixture. Once again, here is how you perform the test. Place primary, secondary 
and tertiary alcohols in separate test tubes. Now add glucose reagent to each test tube. In the case of tertiary alcohols, the solution becomes turbid or cloudy immediately as shown on the screen. Keep in mind that since the alkyl chlorides are immiscible liquids with alcohols, we observe this turbidity or cloudiness. In the case of secondary alcohols, the solution turns turbid after 2 to 3 minutes. Whereas, in the case of primary alcohols, there is no change at room temperature. The reaction mixture turns cloudy only after heating the reaction mixture. That's all for now. Visit adhikemistry.com for more information on this topic or search for adhikemistry Lukas test. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can also find links to worksheets and other study material in the description section. If you find it difficult to reach them, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments section or drop an email to adikmg at gmail.com.